Well, uh, Kelly, I, I think we've made a, a pretty strong case about why uh, what Congress did uh, is not going to do much to improve our national security. Uh, it may make, make them feel better uh, in terms of making a political argument, uh, but that's unfortunate when we're talking about an issue as important as our, as our national security. Uh, the fact is the reason that the President continues to support uh, the refugee program uh, is that individuals who enter the United States as a refugee are subjected to more screening uh, and more vetting than anybody else who enters the United States. They have to submit to a background check. They have to submit to an in-person interview. Uh, they have biometric and biographical information that's collected and then run through a, a wide range of databases that are maintained by international criminal organizations or international law enforcement organizations. Um, the Department of Homeland Security, the intelligence community, the Department of, of Defense. Uh, and only then uh, are they given the opportunity to enter the United States. Uh, since 2011, when the, the, when the war in Syria uh, broke out, uh, about 22,000 uh, Syrian individuals uh, were referred to the United States uh, to determine if uh, they could qualify for refugee status and be admitted to the United States. These are individuals, these 22,000 individuals had already been vetted by the United Nations for consideration in this program, uh, a little more than 2,000 of them have been admitted to the United States. That's an indication of just how rigorous uh, this process is. Uh, and it's why further encumbering that process with, um, uh, with, with even more bureaucracy um, may be um, an effective as a political, a piece of political rhetoric, but it's not going to do anything to improve the national security of the United States.